Coming back to Nerdberg was supposed to be easy. It was supposed to be a really simple process, but it's actually been a nightmare. I've been back in Nerdberg for about an hour, and during that hour, I've tried to record two different episodes of this series that was like, hey, welcome back to Nerdberg. Everything's great. Everything's fine. We're going to build an academy, which, by the way, I have done and it's ready to upgrade. I was also like, hey, let's go ahead and build an oil refinery, which obviously, as you can see, I have done that as well. And we're making plastic and fuel. And then I thought, hey, why don't we export that for some extra money, which is a thing that we're doing as well. And then I got thinking about, well, why don't we go and get some advanced oil well things that will help us get more barrels per day, which is a thing that we're doing. And yet, and yet Nerdberg suffers. And Nerdberg suffers for a few reasons. Reason number one is that it's not making money. We have 330,000 Somalians here, not because Nerdberg earned it, but because I had to go to Orville when Nerdberg had 92 Somalians in its treasury to stop it from going bankrupt. I had taken out every bond. We were losing that much money that quickly that the only way to stabilize this place's economy was to go to another city and send half a million Somalians to myself. I used that to pay off some bonds, which has helped ever so slightly. And then I paused the game, I tabbed out, and I went to the internet. Which, good or bad, the internet is, is a thing. And in this case, I think it's a good thing because it introduced me to a menu that I didn't even know existed in SimCity 2013. It's this menu right here. Now, this menu right here gives you a really good breakdown of your city's economy and, well, more specifically, the population. I don't know why I said economy at all. It's nothing to do with the economy. Uh, it's the population that we're looking at here. Now, what we're looking at specifically is a breakdown of our workers. So what this particular chart says is that we have a total of 2,428 low wealth workers out of those workers 2428 are working so all of them are working none of them are commuting out none of them are unemployed we have none commuting into the city but there is a total of 11661 low wealth jobs for low wealth workers meaning we have a total of 9200 and now 53 low wealth jobs available that's the same info for medium wealth and for high wealth, meaning that we apparently have a total of 5,254 workers, which is weird given the population, but regardless, 5,254 workers with a total of 18,627 jobs, meaning that there is a total of 13,700 and or sorry, 373 available jobs and wouldn't you know that the majority of the jobs that the sims in this particular city are ignoring happen to be my industrial jobs and i need them to not do that i really need them to not do that because that includes my oil refinery that occasionally includes the oil well that occasionally includes the trade depot and also the oil power plant so there is key infrastructure in Nerdberg that is being ignored because of the fact that we have too many available jobs. But it's not just because of that. It's also because of how this game simulates Sims and their jobs. I've said it a few times throughout the series that this game doesn't say that, you know, hey, the Baker household work in, you know, this building here. It doesn't work that way. What it does is it will go through every single household and every, you know, simulated sim and it will say, hey, OK, Baker household up first or Murphy household up first, whatever one. What is the closest available job? Give it to that sim. So if I have all of my sims living in this space, 
which obviously we do, no one lives over here, it means that the industrial jobs are the furthest away, so the industrial jobs tend to be the last ones that the Sims are going to be interested in going to, which means that the only way I can think of right now that's going to resolve this issue with not enough workers in the industry is to essentially go ahead and clear out a bunch of my commercial zoning. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've already done it down here. I've cleared out a bunch of this space. And honestly, I am probably going to put some residential in here because we have to keep in mind the wind is blowing to the right. So in theory, there is no air pollution going to come off of this ore mine. So this right here, as much as I love these buildings, I'm going to get rid of all of them because we just don't need them. We don't need those jobs. I need my Sims going elsewhere. So we're going to come over here and do essentially exactly the same thing. I'm not going to get rid of these guys because I do want that gap between the Omega buildings, but all of this is going to be residential. We have the demand for it, so we might as well do it. I might as well go in here and I'm going to go in here and bulldoze everything that we, we don't want. And my hope is that by getting some residential into that space, what we're going to do is push a bunch of these guys out to the industry. I'm hoping that industry starts to become closer to these guys than, well, it should. It should be closer than this commercial space over here. Basically, we have too much commercial. Now, we are losing a bunch of money, and we're going to continue to do that because obviously we are you know, going to be changing the balance of uh, population and workplaces and all of that. But this is part of how I'm hoping to fix Nerdburg because I've been looking at this city and I've been trying to figure out what to do with this city because it doesn't really have a specialization. Yes, we're doing some trade now, but I don't necessarily want to go into that. We just did a trade city and it doesn't feel like it's been that long since we did a, you know, a, a commercial city with, with tourism and, and monuments and casinos and all that as well. So I don't necessarily want to go into that either. I kind of want to see if I can make Nerdburg successful because it really isn't right now. Now, another thing that I learned is that if you want your low wealth Sims to become more dense, and I don't mean that, you know, if I want their buildings to be more dense, I need to lower their taxes. So in this case, I've been seeing some rumblings on the internet from years and years ago that basically say lower their taxes to 7%. Anything below 8 should be fine, but 7% should encourage them to grow and densify is the word that we'll use. And we'll see if that happens. We'll see if they do, in fact, go towards more dense buildings. We are already seeing some density popping up down here, which is fantastic. A lot of medium density thus far. Hopefully, we're going to see all of that increase. Hopefully we're going to see these guys go towards high density, which if we look into the stats, we're doing better. We're definitely doing better. There's still a lot of available jobs, but the numbers are coming down. So that's good. We're starting to balance things out a little bit, which is what we want to do. Now it is worth mentioning that this same logic applies to shoppers. So for example, we have a total of 478 high wealth shoppers satisfied 478 so all of them there's a total of 1770 goods meaning that 1292 goods are not being sold so we're producing too many goods for those particular shoppers because they don't exist so that's something that we can balance as well but my priority to be completely honest, my priority is just dealing with this population thing. So what I'm going to do is fill up this space and actually, is that what density is that road? Some of the zoning in there is a little bit weird. I'm going to try and fill up this space as much as is possible, I suppose. And we'll see if we can get some good density in there. We actually do have a pretty good building there. And this guy's just upgraded as well. So I think we are starting to see some progress. The population is now 50,000, which is great. Available jobs is gradually going down there. The population of low wealth workers is going up. And so if we go look up here, 
actually looking at it, there's only this place that seems to be abandoned for not enough workers. The rest of it actually seems to have workers now. So I think this little change in this little corner right here has actually helped Nerdberg quite a bit. Uh, looking over this way, though, these guys aren't happy about high taxes. And that's because this was probably a high wealth building, which, yeah, they've got 11% taxes right now because it's the only way I was making money. So that's that's just going to stay. That is that is going to continue to be a thing. What we can do is just bulldoze that building. You had too much sewage. We can go ahead and bulldoze you. You, high taxes, bye-bye. We'll get rid of you as well. And this is just how we're going to have to work Nerdberg. This is just the way it's going to have to be right now. Uh, although, I do want to just cut in for a second and say that, talking about sewage very quickly, I have changed the sewage system. We're now using a sewage sanitizer, which is going to use control net, but it's it's good to have. It also pumps water out, so it's it's a very good thing to have. I did try having my neighbors deal with all my sewage, but they were having none of it. So, here, you know, here we are with uh, with that thing going on. Now, speaking of control net, we should probably upgrade the academy to give it that extra wing there. And I guess, I mean, what do we have in the region? I think it's this thing, right? It's the nanoscale engineering annex that we have in the region already. I don't know if it necessarily matters which one we go for. So let's do the plasma physics one. Not that I necessarily want to get rid of any buildings, but I'm going to build it there because then that building's not going to rebuild and complain about taxes again. So that'll be lovely. As for the academy itself, let's go ahead and maybe go for the control net thing so that we can go ahead and generate more should we happen to need it not that i think we will but i think it could be a good idea now annoyingly we are still losing money we're really not doing okay in terms of this hourly budget and nerdberg is not in the situation that orville is in so it's not like we're trading enough to compensate for that so basically, we kind of need to stay on top of all of this. And also, very interestingly, is uh, th this is this is a bit alarming. The fact that we are seeing so many upgrades to high tech levels on so much of my industry. That's really, that's kind of weird is what that is. I'm wondering, though, if that's maybe because we have these guys working up there now. So that's... That, that's kind of making me think that we might actually have, uh, yeah, unsold goods. I mean, it's still roughly where it was, so maybe that's not changed too much. Uh, the number of available jobs has certainly gone down here, which is good. So we're going to need to start looking at getting some medium wealth guys in here. But we'll deal with that shortly. It's not necessarily a, uh, it's, it's not a priority, to be completely honest. Although what I think I would like to do is I'd like to go in here and try and change some of these city blocks because I'm not too sure these guys are ever necessarily going to... Yeah, not enough room to increase density. So we're not going to get higher than this in these spaces. So what I'm thinking is... And this is going to get rid of some towers, but I'm going to get rid of all of that and then go in there and just... Well rezone all of it is that a park that is a park that's going to need to go as well uh so we'll clear that out we'll just sort of zone all of that space and that should let us expand a little bit back from the uh the the avenue there at least i'm kind of hoping that's going to be the case although it doesn't seem like it wants to let me zone there we go i can zone that bit uh and i'm going to bulldoze these guys and let that space sort of redevelop and we'll see if anything good comes of that. I'm kind of hoping it does. I'm not expecting it. Oh, no. There we go. Immediately. It's uh, it's doing all right. So that's fine. Let me also bring a road sort of straight down here. And what we can do is, uh, is zone on that. Get rid of these guys. And hopefully get a tower in there. That would be kind of amazing if we could get a residential tower in there. Although the taxes, as we very well know, are definitely upsetting my sims it's uh I, I think we're doing all right 
I definitely think we're doing all right. This guy is apparently high wealth, which is kind of wild. This is high wealth as well. Although I suppose it's next to a monument, so that makes sense. And honestly, I've got to say, just those simple changes alone that I talked about, you know, getting rid of the excess commercial, it seems to have done really good for us. Although we, you know, we are seeing some taxes, getting rid of some industry, which I don't love. Uh, let me just look at this again. So we still have too many low wealth jobs and too many medium wealth. So let's get rid of a few more. So what are you? You are low wealth commercial. You are medium wealth commercial. I'm going to keep those, I think. And then where else would we have? We don't have low wealth commercial. So it must be industry that's uh, maybe got a lot of low wealth workers still. And then I guess medium wealth is up here. Is this all medium wealth? That's high wealth as well. Okay, let me clear out that square. And let's see what happens when we bulldoze. Ooh, I don't know if I want to get rid of the progressive office. Although at the same time, I kind of do because it's just costing me money. So yeah, the progressive office is going to go away. And now, while we're losing a bit of money, how are we looking in terms of jobs and availability? I mean, still 5,800 available. That really did nothing is, is what that's telling me. That did... Absolutely. <laughs> that, did, that did nothing. Okay. So bulldozing that might have been a waste of time. But what I'm thinking is that square might be better as residential anyway. Because we do still have demand. It's still pretty high demand across the board. So we'll get some medium wealth. We'll get some high wealth in here. Yes, that's going to give us... Well, actually, no, that's, that's not going to give us more jobs. That's going to get rid of the available jobs. I don't know where my mind was going with that. So maybe we do the same thing down here. I don't think we're going to get, you know, super dense uh, buildings in here. But a bit of residential down the side there might not be a bad thing. We might get a couple of apartments. We might just get mansions. I don't know. But... My thinking is if it gets rid of available jobs, then that's that's what we're looking for. Okay, so I think we might have hit a bit of a plateau with this whole mission that I've been on here. But honestly, that's okay. We've gone from like 15,000 available jobs to 5,000. So we're two thirds of the way to where I want to be, which is fine. I also don't know what this is about. Crime in progress, right. So policing seems to be an issue. There's six crimes per day. There's 105 criminals at large. Good Lord. Uh, we might want to do something about that. That is a ridiculous... That's ridiculous. That is... That is actually ridiculous. That is a lot of crime. I'm not 100% sure where to put a police precinct. But we do have this space over here, which... I feel like it makes sense. I feel like it's about the only place we can put it. We do have a lot of space in there, but this is the only open space. So I'm going to build a police precinct in there. And I'm immediately going to just give it a bunch of cars. And hopefully this is going to help with the uh, the massive amount of crime in here. Good Lord. So we got that going. We can't get law drones, which is totally fine. I'm not super worried about that. I will get my sign, though, because I do like that. Uh, we can also get a crime prevention center. That seems like a good idea. What else have we got? We've got a police helipad, which can go on top of the crime prevention center. I can actually do multiple police helipads. I didn't know that. Oh. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm not going to do that, but I, I like that I can. I like that it's an option. I can do some jail cells on the roof, which I'm absolutely going to do. And we'll also give them a police dispatch tower. Because I feel like a police dispatch tower is going to get them out there a little bit quicker. And then, hold on, can I do more of these guys? Oh, I can. Ooh, that's very exciting. I'm not going to do more helicopters, but that will hopefully deal with a lot of the crime that's going on and make people at least a little bit happier. I would imagine it is a lot of money, the police precinct, but I would imagine it's going to do some good things for us. 
Now, just looking at this to double check, we have 4,172 people working, low wealth, 2,000 jobs available. Honestly, that's kind of okay. We, we sort of need more rich shoppers at the moment. So that's, that's kind of where I am at the minute. So we might want to do something about that. That's, that's kind of the bulk of the unsold goods is uh, rich shoppers. Although everything is complaining right now. What's wrong with water? What's wrong with you? Garbage dumps are full. That's a problem. Do we have power? We do. Okay. So my garbage dumps being full is a bit of an issue because I did ever so slightly shrink the garbage dump because obviously I, I didn't need it going the whole way across here, which is what it was doing before. So that's a bit of a problem. I, I think it'll be okay though. I think we can, uh, I think we can manage without expanding the garbage dump for now. Cause I think maybe I can get my neighbors to buy it. I don't want to volunteer. I, I kind of want, want some volunteered vehicles to Linden. Can I not get you to buy my garbage? <laughs> is, is that not an option? Cause that's kind of what I need. That is, uh, that's, that's kind of what I need. I don't want to cover another city. I want to request other, oh man. Well, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, We'll have to switch to Linden City if I want to do that. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because it's not a huge deal. My uh, my priority at this point, to be honest, is dealing with this massive deficit, which, again, we have to keep in mind, basically what I've done is, uh, you know, policing is taking a massive amount of money now. Transportation is taking money. Education is taking money. I could increase the taxes of the commercial and industrial buildings for low wealth, but that doesn't really do too much. So I'm not really super interested in that. I could bring the low wealth taxes up on uh, residential if I wanted to, but I'm worried that might cause some problems and might uh, get everybody that recently moved in to then move out. So this, this deficit thing is, is a pretty big deal. It's, it's kind of an issue. And I'm not 100% sure how to deal with it. Although I will say, these guys here, I would like them to be a little bit more dense. So let's create a space that they actually want to be in. And uh, I think by getting some services in here, we can probably do that. So we'll start with parks, to be completely honest. I do think getting some parks in here might be nice. We can do a little something like that. We can do uh, a nice park with a parking lot, which might cheer them up a little bit. It seems that they did happen to enjoy the park and parking lot. Uh, fire coverage pretty much doesn't exist down here, which is actually a problem because we have some high tech industry up here and high tech industry without a way to fight those fires is actually a recipe for disaster if i remember right because you will get fires that the regular trucks can't put out so you end up needing a large fire station and we don't have one so yeah that might be that that might complicate things especially since i'm not going to get a large fire station because it's way too expensive so we'll get a regular fire station and we'll just go ahead and place it there and that'll give these guys a little bit of coverage. Nothing too crazy. Definitely nothing too crazy, but a little little something something. I'll give them like one extra truck because then I can put this on top and that helps the uh, the response time. And so hopefully we'll see some of these guys cheer up a little bit. Their density is growing, which is good. And uh, they like when the taxes are low as well. So that helps. You know, part of me is tempted, the, the chaotic part of me is really tempted to just bring the taxes down for everyone. I don't, I don't know that I want to do that, but I'm kind of tempted. What happens if we bring the taxes down to 8% for all of the residents in here? I'm kind of hoping it's going to encourage a massive influx of people that will offset the lower taxes, but... We also already kind of have a lot of relatively dense buildings, so I don't really know. 
I know these guys can't increase density right now. So this road here kind of has to go away. This road kind of has to go away. And then if I zone those spaces, I'm kind of hoping these guys can now increase their density. Although it, they are continuing to say that they can't. Uh. Oh, wait, no, this guy did. Okay. So I, I think actually they maybe can increase. There we go. So that's good. Again, I don't know if it's necessarily going to do what I'm hoping it will do. I'm not expecting miracles, but we will see. All right. So while we've managed to get the workers thing, the available jobs down to 5,000, we are still losing tremendous amounts of money. So what I've done is I've managed to, I think, bait a bunch of people into moving into Nerdburg, which is great. I think 73,000 Sims is actually the highest population we've had without Mega Towers, which I think is very cool. Uh, but I want to do one last little thing before I do sort of my, my end game plan. Because believe it or not, there, <laughs> there is uh, sort of an end game plan that I swear I didn't just come up with about 30 seconds ago. And that plan is to be a bit of a, how do I put this politely? Uh, my Australian viewers will know the word I'm thinking of. Frankly, a bit of a and, you know, quite possibly also a and then maybe sort of a but anyway, I'm going to just increase the taxes. Once everybody moves in, I'm going to just increase the taxes and I reckon I'm going to make a bunch of money and also, you know, be called a bunch of names by my my sims. But that's 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 my thinking. I don't I don't know for sure that it's going to work. I'm not going to crank the taxes up to like 12 percent. I'm going to go to 9 percent and see what it does. And then we're going to go to 10 percent and we'll probably leave it at 10 percent. Uh, but the good news is that we are seeing a little bit more density development in these spaces. So let's just make sure that that continues. Let's get that population to be a little bit higher. And then once it's where we want it to be, we can crank the taxes. And I think now more so than ever, it's going to be really important to do this because we are really close to running out of money again. So let's take all of these guys up to 9% across the board and see what it does. Annoyingly, it's looking like it's not enough. I mean, minus 9,769,000 Somalians is still, uh, that's still a lot of losses. And those losses are largely coming out of police and transportation and education. So, I mean, how much is this? 2,050? You are, how much is this thing per however much? 700? So the airports, I want to say the airport, frankly, is not worth it. And I might, if I turn it off, does it cost me anything? It doesn't cost me a thing. Right. That's good because we obviously can't afford it. We're going to turn off the bus terminal as well to save some money. The streetcars can stay do I have more buses? I could turn off this police precinct. That's seven. Th you know what? We're going to turn you off. We're going to turn off that police precinct because good Lord, it was expensive. It was needlessly expensive. Good Lord. Uh, what about you? 700 shuttle bus depot that can stay. Did I not build? I did build the double decker bus terminal. It's only 800 though. So I think we're all right there. Long story short, we cut it really close, but I think <laughs> sort of. We've just managed to uh, make a cheeky little profit in here, which is great. So uh, I've got that going for me. That's 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 always good. Uh, control net connected 10,200. How much control net do you need? So this needs 1,450. I really hope this thing's able to process all of our sewage. Also, I think we can upgrade City Hall, which is which is I mean, that's that's kind of cool that we can upgrade City Hall. So let's get that done. We're not going to do anything to it, but definitely kind of cool. It's also kind of cool, I think, that we have 80,000 Sims in here and that this jobs thing is down to almost 4,000. So this is good. 
this is actually good. This is sort of working out, which is really surprising. I don't love that I've had to turn off a bunch of buildings, but until we're making tons of money, that's about all I can do. Uh, we also don't have crude oil here, which is weird to me. I guess, should we import crude oil? We should, I feel like we shouldn't need to. You know, I, I do feel like we shouldn't need to import oil. Although it does look like we're also running out, which is concerning. <laughs> I don't, I don't love the idea that we're running out of oil. We do only have four months uh, supply under there. So might need to look into that, but I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet. I, <laughs> I think we've just, we've just started to figure out how to stabilize Nerdberg. So let's not get too carried away. This guy's also upgrading, which is great. Honestly, I think this looks all right. Like I said, 80,000 Sims is pretty solid, I think, for a city without mega towers. And so as my hourly income starts to dwindle again, let's go ahead and leave it there for today. In a way, it feels like we've done nothing to Nerdberg. It feels like we've almost just reset the place to a point where I can start to do things. But I am feeling a little bit better about where it is now. 82,000 sims is not bad. It is making money, which is good. And so we just need to be able to turn on the police precinct again. We just need to be able to do a lot of things, quite frankly. There's there's a lot of things Nerdberg needs. I think my goal with this city is going to be to get it to like 100,000 sims and then we can move on. I will say, I think my, my next city is actually going to be Twain. It's not going to be called that. Once we get over there, we'll start taking suggestions for a name. But that, I think, is going to be our university city. So we're going to try and build a massive university in there, all the connections that it needs. And hopefully that's going to be a good thing. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always... I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.